guys, this is Iper. So to start off this Assault Class Gadget Guide, I w first wanted to start off with the three most important gadgets from the Assault Class in my opinion. So for me, our number one is definitely the Medic Bag. The Medic Bag allows you to regenerate health, so you will have a huge advantage over your opponent. If the, your opponent does not have full health and because you have your Medic Bag, you will have full health. Now a tip that I can give you to really use the Medic Bag to its full potential is to throwing down a Medic Bag at each and every corner. Now this will help you regenerating health while engaging a gunfight, which gives you a huge advantage over your opponent when he does not have that Medic Bag around the corner. Now in my opinion the second best gadget for the DSO class is the Defibrillator. The Defibrillator allows you to revive fallen teammates and in general give you extra points and helping your team alive. Now when you try to quickly revive your fallen soldier then you will only get 20 points and the revived teammate will also be at 20% health. Now if you charge your pedals up to 3 to 4 seconds then your revived teammate will also have 100 life points and you will also get 100 award points. Now a quick tip that I can give you guys while using the defibrillators is the defibrillators have a actually a much bigger range than they did in Battlefield 3. So if you see a teammate don't come too close to him because there these things have a actual a decent range so you don't have to come that close to your teammates. Now the third most useful gadget for the assault class is the first aid pack. The first aid pack is basically a small medic bag and is only for a single use. It slowly heals a single soldier to its full health and it will stick to that soldier so even if that soldier is on the move then he will still regenerate health. Now the health generation stops when the player that has that medic bag on him will receive damage. So if you get damaged while having this medic pack equipped the medic pack will stop regenerating health. Now in the Assault Class gadget list we have 5 different types of M320 grenade launchers. Now by far the most effective M320 is the M320 High Explosive. This is a gadget that fires a 40mm grenade with a small blast radius that is especially useful against infantry and small or light vehicles. So as I already said this thing has a really small blast radius so when trying to shoot a infantry man then you really want to aim as close to him as possible. Now to heavy armored vehicles such as tanks and helicopters this thing does not have is not so effective. As you can see in this example I hit this helicopter and it just doesn't do anything to him so that's not the way to go with this gadget. Now the next M320 is the M320 Smoke. This also shoots a 40mm grenade which creates a smoke cloud which blocks the enemy from spotting you and generally makes you harder to see even though that this um, smoke cloud is not so big as you can see. Next up is the M320 Flashbang. Now before I made this guide I didn't even know that this thing existed because I've never seen anyone uses it. Now this gadget basically shoots a flashbang but once it's fired it will actually take some time before the flashbang is detonated. Now the blinding effects of the flashbang are not so big so I don't see this being a very useful gadget. Next is the M320 Dart. This makes the 40mm grenade launcher a shotgun and it is not the best shotgun to use since it has one single shot in its magazine and the reload time is pretty long. The iron sights are without a doubt really really bad so I won't recommend anyone to use this as a shotgun. Now the last M320 is the M320 LVG. This is a grenade launcher that shoots basically just grenades but they take a while before they actually detonate. Now because they take a while to detonate and they bounce all around it is a pretty hard gadget to control so I, th that makes it in my opinion the most useless M320 in the game. Now that we've had all the grenade launchers we're gonna move on to the M26 shotguns and we've got four variants for this gadget. First is the M26 mass which shoots standard buckshots have high damage, 
have no penetration angst, so it means that it can shoot through walls. Next up is the M26 Dart. This gadget shoots flechette rounds and they have reduced damage but they have increased range and penetration which means that it, this gadget is better at shooting through fences and stuff and wooden small objects that you can shoot through. Third is the M26 Slug. This gadget shoots Sabot slug rounds and it is accurate for medium ranges. Now this is a shotgun that will do more damage at range but because it does not do as much damage up close meaning that you won't have much one shot kills I don't really recommend using this gadget. And moving on to the final M26 is the M26 frag. Now this gadget shoots exploding frag rounds. Now in my opinion the frag rounds are hard to control and not that accurate. So to line up the frag rounds with your targets, it's gonna be you're gonna have a hard time. And that's why this gun is mainly used for suppressing fire. Now this were all the gadgets for the assault class. If you enjoyed the video then please hit like. If you're new around here feel free to subscribe. This was Iper and as always, thanks for watching.